video this is all about you this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from blonde without boundaries yeah we're going to start with the oracle just like always and then just like always there's going to be an extended that link is in the description box the extended extends or expands upon this initial energy reading that we start with this is not a horoscope this is an oracle card reading that um sort of translates the energies for Scorpio. So it's for Scorpio sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart, you can apply the, you can apply these energies and these themes for the next week or so. I don't put dates on my videos anymore because I know it now that, that, that it doesn't matter. Um, however, I do make a Scorpio video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, please do subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow and get your videos as soon as I create them. Um, yeah, so the extended just basically expands upon, it expands upon, articulates and personalizes. So if you're looking for like a more personal reading, personalizes uh, the energies that we start out with here on YouTube. So that link is below. Scorpios, Let's get into this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. Scorpio. 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 Here we go. Your crowning energy is starfish and time for a beginner mind. This is double Aquarius. This is 12, 3. Ooh. Okay, interesting. 69. I don't know if you're dealing with... Okay, this is double Aquarian energy. So this is Aquarius energy. You can think of the communications and the thoughts and the ability to reach those thoughts and share them and really be poignant and stick into somebody. Think of them like the quills on a porcupine. Also opening and broadening and expanding yourself and not being afraid to do so. But then there is this energy of like a, like the star and you're shining and, and getting recognition or coming into focus, coming into focus as somebody with a sharp and clear mind, somebody who knows what's up, somebody who is admired, but also a little bit feared. This is getting recognition or like, like taking center stage. Um, so it could be public recognition, but it could also be somebody realizing these things about you. It's like somebody spotting you or seeing that this is your way and this is who you are. So it could be sort of accusations of you being prickly. It could be a circumstance of finger pointing, of getting attention that maybe you don't want or accusations on you that you don't want. A certain sense of you're going to fight back anyway. You are willing to be bristly. You are willing to show and walk in into the room step into the room and say go ahead make my day type of energy like seriously make my day and the funny twist about this is even if somebody is goading you or trying to get at you inevitably it's going to make you Scorpio look like a freaking hero it's going to make you look like at the very least an anti-hero which people can't help but love this is a sense of somebody like trying to tempt you out or calling you out or telling you some about yourself and then it backfiring on them because it makes you, it doesn't make you look like a rose. It makes you look like a bad, it makes you look like, it makes you look like somebody that people can't resist and want to know more about. So this could very well be, uh, apply it to wherever it is in your life. This could be at work. This could be in your personal relationship. Um, this could be in your social group. This is a sense of, of being ready to fire away and aim back. And it end up really, it, it, it's, it's, it's brutal. It's, it's like it's brutal, but simultaneously it's like nobody messes with a porcupine anymore. And the porcupine seems like they don't got it, right? They don't got enough. They're this little tiny creature and they're kind of vulnerable on their bellies, but but oh my God, their quills will, will kill an animal. They will kill an animal because the animal, basically, just like you know with your poison, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until infection sets in and they, they can't even eat. And they literally, it's a long, slow death that these quills cause. But you know, like porcupine, they don't go into the room just like, shooting quills at people they do it because they have to defend themselves they do it because somebody ran up on them and was going to bite them and 
it really does backfire when you try to aim at this at the porcupine this is a sense of cold like this is aquarian energy so this is you <laughs> my dog is barking this is you turning cold this is you being ice cold as as uh, as black eyed peas would say um ice cold ice cold no no is that what it is not the black eyed peas um I, what's cooler than being well, what's cooler than cool ice cold like that's that's what you are what's cooler than cool ice cold that's what you are and the thing is it's going to actually make you look real good too because it's like oh my god How? Yeah. oh oh shit. you know like like oh you don't mess with them you know like that kind of energy of like what's cooler than being cool ice cold you're gonna be ice cold to somebody that's going to try to get at you and this is what i'm saying try to call you out for something try to make you look bad this is your crowning energy so <laughs> it only gets better from here what's cooler than being cool ice cold and that's what you're about to, that's what you're about to show somebody ice cold how you can be ice cold and how you can set a poison in that will continue to stick to them and continue to stink on them to the point where they basically help to ruin themselves by stepping at you. But this is something in the public and it, it doesn't have to be like over television. It could just be in your social group or in your family. Um, it's almost like this is the message that I'm getting. Um, like you have an opinion, right? I'm sorry, hold on. You have an opinion. And people are trying to debate with you and make you make you reveal what your feelings are. And you do reveal what your feelings are and maybe what your feelings are aren't the most popular sentiment at the table. But simultaneously, you know what you're talking about and you have so much conviction in what you're talking about and the way that you say it, that even though they, they baited you and they got you to say something they thought would make you look bad, you end up looking like, like a straight up master or, or somebody that nobody else wants to mess with it at the very least people respect. So it... It, it, it's, it's through conversation is what I'm saying. It's not necessarily, um, it's, it's not literal weapons. It's through conversation. It's like somebody's trying to bait you into saying something. It's like, say you're at a board meeting, I'm trying to fix my hair. It's like saying, say you're at a board meeting and somebody tries to like, they know that you like to swear outside of work. And so they do things to press your button so that you swear inside of work in front of your boss. And what ends up happening is your boss like cracks up when you crack the swear or is like it like it, it comes out that your boss likes to swear too or that it, it it backfires on the person who tried to set you up but it's through communication that's what I want you to know be playful is your central energy so this is tiptoeing in the shallows and stamping on any kind of negativity like keep it up don't let it bring you down. This is that central energy that centers you. It's almost like your core work, a sense of, once again, Aquarius energy. So watch out. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. There's this Aquarian energy around you. I know that Saturn enters Aquarius on the 21st. Oh, oh, what's today's day? Oh, Saturn entered Aquarius already. So there is this energy. It could just be that alignment of this Aquarius energy, almost like somehow trying to bait you into being looking selfish or looking like you're all about yourself or you only care about yourself or you're wrapped up in yourself. Whereas Aquarius and Saturn is that energy of like, like doing good for others, working hard for others, setting the goals um, in, in humanitarian ways or, or looking, looking outside of yourself, looking at the bigger picture. Somebody's trying to make you look like you're, you're not on board. The sense of like set you up for some sort of karmic disaster. Just don't let them, this is you being centered and strong enough, Scorpio, to be playful. Never really be that intimidated. Stay light, 
and agile. And I think that that's the secret because if somebody pushes you down to the underworld, that's where they could really trap you and make you look evil. But you, if you stay light and agile and don't let them get to you or drag you down, you've got this in the bag. You've got this in the bag. Um, this is, yeah, sometimes life stings, but it's coming to an end. It's also smacking the mosquito. <laughs> You're about to smack the mosquito. They're trying to catch you in the net, but it's almost like you pushed out a net that they didn't expect. And you're catching that mosquito before it gets you, before it stings you. This is also your card. So this is a sense of a reminder of your stinger and your stinger coming out this week. Uh, trust in divine detours. This is more of this energy. Um, Sagittarius energy, chaos. Get used to the chaos, revel in the chaos, love the chaos. Don't try to make sense of the chaos. Don't question the chaos. Just go with it, go with the flow, own it, rule it, and dish it out. This is a sense of bat those curve, those, those, those curveballs. Like, you know, like hit them out of the park. Don't expect anything. And not expecting anything, you will be ready for anything. This is also things coming out of the blue, like a curveball. It's almost like somebody trying to sting you. It's like, when I was just talking and telling you about the scenario, Scorpio, you might think that it's one person. This is going to come from a direction you don't expect. That's what it's telling me. This is going to come from a source that you, that you didn't see it coming. So it, it, because of that unexpected twist, there is that try to, there is that hook that tries to like drag you under. And that's just the thing. It's like, Stay light, stay out, stay out, stay light, stay light. Don't let it try. Even though you don't expect it, be kind of, be above it. If that's what I say, like Aquarian energy is calling you to be above this. It's what it is. It's, it's maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's not the energy that's out to get you. It's the energy that's there to save you, which is just be above it. Look at it objectively. Go cold and don't let anybody make you sizzle underneath. Um, bring a gentle touch. Eight plus nine. Something is coming to a head. And this suggests that it could have something to do with romance or love or somebody that you love. They could, if you have a child, especially like a Virgo child or some, a younger child, they could be trying. This could be something with your child. They could be using your child as bait. This could not, maybe not intentionally, but it could be something like with your child's school system or with your child's, like if you have like a, a child with special needs, something like that energy of something that would really be easily, easily make you defensive and easily get to you. It's like, that's the bait. That's the trick. And it's up to you to just outwit them. Um, Mm, having a lot of confidence in yourself and emotional stability. This is looking forward and not looking back. This is 10, which is a completion of a cycle, feeling good about yourself and looking into the future. And this is the energy of really feeling good about yourself because this is like King of Cups energy where you've got your shell. This is Cancerian energy. This is Leo energy, um, summertime energy, but a lot of strength and understanding and having confidence in yourself. No matter how other people try to make you feel, this is what's going to really help you is that emotionally you feel strong you're not bogged down by the weight of your shell you're not trying to hide you know you got the shell you know you got the protection and you know who you are this is a mature energy and it moves slowly so that's a secret that the universe and spirit is trying to like cue you in on when all this starts to happen like go matrix neo style and slow everything down mentally so that you can look at it and stay on top of it like don't rush into it slow Slow it down and that's how you're gonna hurt you're gonna you're gonna hit that curveball right is that you're gonna see it in slow motion when it's happening and almost just like and then it'll be easy for you to knock it out of the park there's something destined about this something is destined like to come to completion or for you to be recognized or realized um interesting mm, hold on let me see lay a solid foundation this is more virgo energy which is at the very least talking about cultivation and laying a foundation. And let me tell you what the foundation is going to be, Scorpio. This foundation is going to be you letting people know not, not only not to mess with you. It's not that simple. It's 
that you are solid, that you know what you're talking about, that you are somebody, that you're a formidable combat combatant, that you're a formidable adult, that you actually do have everything under control. This is you laying the basement level in everybody's mind to set the tone for the future, to how to think about you and what to expect from you. Mm. And then your grounding energy is tend to the small things and take the lead. So you are literally going to impress the masses, uh, people who tend to follow easily by getting to the heart of an infestation, because that's what it is. It's almost like people are trying to protect other people by pretending, oh, the small people, the small people, we have to protect them. And you're the one that's pointing out what everybody really knows under the surface, which is they're a bunch of rats. They're a bunch of rodents. This has been building up. This problem has been building and it's causing an infestation, disease and poop all over the place. Hello, E. coli. You are taking the lead and attaching yourself to the ether and you're calling it out. You're the one that's going to say the unpopular thing, which is the right thing that people all know, but they don't want to talk about because that's the twist. This, this looking like they're so wonderful. Let's save the mice. Let's save the mice. Meanwhile, the mice are causing like an infestation and pooping all over the place and collies causing things to stink in the walls. And nobody wants to say it because it's not popular. You know what I'm saying? You're going to say it. <laughs> that's what it is. That's, I'm just telling you, you're going to say it. You're going to say it and you're going to have the blessing of the universe to do it because somebody had to say it, Scorpio, and you're cold as ice and nobody's going to mess with you. And so that's why you're the one that's able to say it. Let me flip this camera around so we can review these energies. Hold on. Okay. These cards came out real easy. This is what I want to tell you. This card came out, these cards came out real clear, these cards came out real clear, and this card came out and landed in the center of my table. So it's very, very clear that you needed to hear this. And I think in part, it's because you need the, you need the assurance and the understanding of what is going to come at you and what's going to come out of it. And the tips and the understanding of how you can handle this. I'm glad that you're listening because this is definitely going to be like a master assault and no cross watchers. There's not going to be any way that you can take advantage or trap Scorpio. Scorpio is the one that's going to be out on top. So if the bottom line is this, you think that you can put one over on them, understand that the more confident you are, the more you're digging yourself into a hole because Scorpio is going to find somehow come out smelling like a rose. And I'm saying that they're going to come out smelling like a rose. No, no. Like I said, they're going to come out smelling like a, a, a MMA champion, right? It may be stinky. It may be sweaty, but it's going to be sexy as hell. And everybody is going to want more. That's what I'm saying. Like there's no bad stink you can put on them because it's just going to make them look more bad. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, it's, it's going to make them look like a ba bad, you know what, a bad mamma jamma. That's what they're going to look like. So there's no way that you can put this spin on. It's almost like they've got this bulletproof vest of cool on them this week. So the very best thing you could do is just not mess with them. But this is a sense of Scorpio understanding and being prepared and being ready. And what I really like about this reading is it's saying that you are very strong and confident in yourself. You have a sense of assuredness about who you are and your direction. And there's no better time for you to let other people know your full potential than the next couple of days. Understand that you do have a beautiful energy of a new moon coming to you on, I think, Tuesday. And this is going to be a wonderful time for you to welcome in beautiful things into your life. Um, you're going to want to take action. You're going to feel compelled to take action slow it down take action in slow motion take action like a turtle a turtle doesn't lack action he just does it slow and steady and consistently understand that that is definitely the way to go like think a neo man slow it down so that then you can look like you're working magic what I want to do is go over into the extended and see who exactly is going to be coming at you. Let's define where the route of attack is going to try to be, who these people are, and more details. And plus, we're going to do your full romance reading too. I've attached a card above. You can check out the romantic tarot as well. I love you, Scorpios. I'll see you in the extended. Link is below.